I think that he, it's a, that, uh, that it was a brave decision for him to step down, well, to pull himself out of the race. I think it was the correct one. Having a little bit of youth would actually go a long way. You know, President Trump, uh, ex-President Trump is 78 and our current president's 81. So, um, yeah, I actually think that age limit terms should be on the other side as well, because I think that obviously it's a little bit more complicated and, um, you know, uh, you know, all of us, as we get older, you know, obviously natural things start occurring. And so, yeah, a little bit of youth would actually be really welcome. And in, in my area and the people that I know, uh, we've been adversely affected by President Biden's policies. Uh, we're noticing an increase in the price of groceries and fuel and the price of living. And our lives are worse now. And Vice President Harris is riding on those coattails. So it's going to be very hard to shake that opinion when we have all witnessed uh, an economic downturn in all of our lives. I don't know. I think the party needs to think about who can successfully win. And is this country, I'll put it bluntly, is this country ready to elect a black woman to be president over a convicted felon?